Red shirt leader calls for a peaceful rally with car horns blaring for removal of the Prime Minister. Former cabinet minister and red shirt activist, Natur Tsekua, says Sunday's rally in which car horns were blared during the national anthem calling for Prime Minister Preya Chan Ocha to exit the stage, will raise the flag of peace and not war. He criticized this week's violent clashes between street activists and police observing that the more aggressive tactics employed by the protesters had left the wrong image and failed to convey any message but one of violence. Red Shirt leader and former cabinet minister Natur Tsekua has declared that his rally on Sunday next will raise the flag of peace and not violence in order to force Prime Minister Preya Chan Ocha to resign from office. He also indirectly criticized the more militant protests seen on the streets this week saying they had failed to convey the right message at this time of emergency and were helping the government. Ex-cabinet minister and leading Red Shirt leader, Natur Tsekua, who was only released from prison at the end of June, is calling for peaceful car rally protests in Bangkok on Sunday by the public seeking the resignation of Prime Minister Preya Chanocha because of his government's handling of the pandemic crisis. A key red shirt leader who plans to lead a large car rally in Bangkok on Sunday 15 August calling for the resignation of the Prime Minister, on Friday, pleaded with the activists behind this week's ongoing violent clashes with police, to consider their position. He suggested that their aggressive actions were playing into the government's hands at this time. It comes as Thailand reported another day of record infections with 23,418 new cases and 184 deaths while the world's media reported police again clashing violently with protesters firing rubber bullets and deploying tear gas. PM reported to be looking at easing COVID-19 measures on Monday at the request of trade groups the rising levels of COVID-19 together with a deteriorating economic situation and the hardships caused by the lockdown have raised public anxiety throughout the kingdom with confidence at an all-time low. On Friday, it was reported that Prime Minister Preya Chan Ocha would hold a crucial meeting on Monday to review a possible easing of some of the economic restrictions following representations from trade groups and business leaders. These are business activities such as banking, providing access and repairs to electrical appliances, miscellaneous retail outlets and businesses operating in the IT sector whose continued closure is causing severe hardship for the population. Prayat's home has been under siege this week from protesters who repeatedly clashed with police. Prime Minister Prayat Chan Ocha is expecting to conduct the meeting from his home at the 1st Infantry Regiment compound on Vibhavadi Rangsit Road which is currently under siege and has been day by day, from protests which have turned distinctly ugly this week leading to police injuries and one protester having his fingers blown off after a device exploded prematurely before he hurled it at police lines. Military asked to help quell protests as a mob, targeting PM's home, burns out small police office. It was later revealed that the activist had been infected with the COVID-19 virus. Angry and violent protests have repeatedly alienated public support for moves to oust the government. Many observers feel the more militant and aggressive approach by the younger protesters is alienating the broader public from efforts to hold the government accountable for its performance in the course of the virus emergency. A shocking poll by the widely read Thai newspaper, Thai Rath, in early July, found that only 1.8% of the public had confidence in General Prayat's government. After this, the situation continued to deteriorate despite reports of a crack government team within Government House coordinated by Palam Pratchett Party Secretary General, Thamnut Prompau, whose goal is to regain the initiative in the face of a rising virus wave and economic woes. Thailand on track for another year of GDP contraction The country is now on track for another year of GDP contraction. A joint committee of the Bankers Association, the Federation of Thai Industries and the Chamber of Commerce has just forecast the Thai economy to contract by 1.5% in 2021. The militancy of the student street protests has already, prior to this, caused public support and enthusiasm for a movement targeting the government to wane on several occasions over the last year. Young protesters on the streets are more left-wing The agenda of the young activists on the streets confronting police is also more left-wing and radical than the broader masses representing, to some extent, a generational shift which is reflected in Parliament by the Fu Thai Party closely aligned with ex-Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra and the Move Forward Party, the successor to the disbanded Future Forward Party which represents a younger more educated and more radical segment of the population which seeks more profound social and political change in Thailand. 
communist imagery and rhetoric used by a group at the core of the Kingdom's street protest campaign. In December last, one of the groups aligned to a broad coalition of student and activist groups, RT or Restart Thailand, produced a new logo or brand change which incorporated the hammer and sickle on red, an image long associated with communism. Former Red Shirt leader and cabinet member under Ying Lakshinoa tried to lead a car rally on Sunday on Friday, just hours before violent protests again broke out in the city near Victory Monument and later in the Dingding Ding area, 46-year-old Mr. Natoa Tsekua, a Red Shirt activist, former cabinet minister and key leader of the anti-government protests from 2006 to 2010 who was only at the end of June released from prison on charges relating to a violent riot in 2007, gave a press conference. He made his position clear to the younger generation fighting police on the streets with catapults and ping-pong bombs. Mr. Natoat served as the junior minister in both the Agriculture Ministry and the Commerce Ministry in the government of Ying Lakshinoatra from 2012 until it was ousted in the coup in May 2014 led by the current Prime Minister, Prayat Chanocha. Please think it through thoroughly, he urged them. I think you don't want to see the armed forces coming out. As for those in power, I am not so sure. You'd better watch your game carefully. Sunday's rally at three points in the capital to kick off at 3 p.m. finishing after 6 p.m. with the national anthem. Mr. Natoat is to lead a large rally on Sunday 15 August whose key demand is the resignation of General Prayat Chan Ocha over his alleged mishandling of the COVID-19 crisis. The protest will start at 3 p.m. and will have three gathering points including Democracy Monument, Richaprasong Intersection and Latfreo Intersection which will be the destination of a march from our Utahya led by well-known activist Sombat Bangamanong. Mr. Sombat is a more radical 53-year-old left-wing red shirt activist and social worker known for his independence of thought. Referred to affectionately by his nickname, Mouse, he has also found himself, in the past, jailed for his political activities. Commitment to a peaceful rally emphasized strongly Mr. Natoat has made it clear that his firm objective is that next Sunday's rally must go off peacefully. On Friday, he repeatedly underlined the point. He declared that the rally would avoid sensitive buildings such as Government House, the Prime Minister's residence or the Royal Palaces which may draw them into conflict with police or the military. The protest leader also offered to liaise with police authorities to ensure that the event passed off peacefully although the gathering is illegal under the current emergency decree with a recent commitment from the Royal Thai Police to enforce its terms more robustly. On Wednesday, a request by police to the armed forces was outlined by Metropolitan Police Bureau Chief, Lieutenant General Pakapong Pongpatra. This may see the army take up defensive positions concerning key buildings in the capital linked with the military and the royal palaces. Horns to be blared during the singing of the national anthem calling for PM Prayat Chan Ocha to resign the red shirt leader and former MP who hails from Nakhon Seath Amarat told the online press conference on Friday that the protest on Sunday would end sharply after the national anthem is played at 6 p.m to allow people to make their way safely home and to avoid issues with the 9 p.m. curfew. He said the cars and motorbikes taking part in the rally should blur their horns throughout the national anthem to signal their support for the country but also their plaintive calls for Prime Minister Prayat to resign. In the course of the press conference, Mr. Natoat said the student protesters and activists, as they engaged in violence this week, had failed to make their message clear and instead people were left with an image of running violence and destruction. He explained that people supporting him will be raising the flag of peace and not the flag of war. He again stressed his determination to try to ensure that there is no additional violence on the streets at this time.